<laughs> well, you'd think after the busy 4th of July weekend, Pittsburghers would want a break that they would say, hey, it's been too much. <laughs> when, it, when it comes to fun in Pittsburgh, we are greedy and we want more. And Sean Collier is here with his weekend guide. Hey, the weekends are supposed to be filled with fun. I, I yes. like that setup. Like, you may be sick of doing things, but, but why not keep doing a little more? No, why because not? there's so many great things, of right? Of course. That we never run out, particularly in the summer, outdoor events. I didn't even plan it. Everything I have to talk to you about today is outside. And we're starting with movies, which is mm -hmm. such a wonderful thing to do on a summer night. You know that I love going to the drive-in. Why limit that to people who have cars to go with? <laughs> it's speaking of poor intros. Okay. There was one. No, I think that it was smooth. <laughs> you can use your legs you to get there. You can use your legs and sit on there. Well, at the drive-in, if you go, half the time people drive in and then set up their chairs and their picnic Anyways, blankets. Right. A yeah. full couch, perhaps. Whatever you're bringing, bring it to Dollar Bank Cinema in the parks. This is uh, across the city at several city parks. You're seeing here a little bit of the Mitchells versus the Machines. Great movie. Yes, thank you. It, Heather knows because there are children in the house. It's amazing. I got to this late, and it wasn't in theaters. It was a Netflix exclusive, and I loved this movie. So good. Hilarious, heartwarming. One of the picks uh, that'll be playing at several city parks throughout the summer. The cool thing about this, it happens almost every night mm -hmm. at one park or another. The series kind of moves around the city. So if you have a specific night that you're free, Find out where it is. If you have a park near you, wait and see when it's coming. A lot of family fare, but some more, not adult. We don't have, you know, we're not doing the R-rated horror stuff I love for free in the park, but we are doing stuff like the James Bond movie, No Time to Die, Spider-Man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this Saturday night in Riverview Park, the Mr. Rogers documentary from a few years ago, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Excellent, excellent look at Fred Rogers. Yeah. And Sunday night uh, in Shenley Plaza, Pixar's Luca. That was another streaming exclusive. Also amazing. That one's great too. Some of these family movies that went straight to streaming, maybe not everyone saw, unless you have kids yeah. who watch them 14 times, of course. Sure. But yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of great movies for free outdoors in the city this summer. Yeah, really a great list too. So, all right, you said everything is going to mm -hmm. be outdoors, and let's talk about this stage that the right. Cultural Trust built downtown mm -hmm. for the Arts Festival. It's not going to waste. No, I, they, if you went to one of the main stage concerts at the Arts mm -hmm. Festival uh, last month, you saw this beautiful new stage in the heart of the Cultural District. Why have a stage? just for 10 days. Right. They decided, let's keep it around. Let's rename it the Backyard at 8th and Penn. That's nice. It feels like we're just going to hang out in the backyard with a lot of events, a lot of music all summer long. Here you're seeing a little bit of the uh, Pittsburgh-based band Royce. Very cool. Little rock, little blues, uh, a lot of hip-hop. They will be playing at the Backyard this Saturday night. Uh, earlier in the evening on Saturday, a set from one of the best locally based bands in terms of the name, the Squirrel Hillbillies. What better name oh. <laughs> for a little roots, a little bluegrass than the Squirrel Hillbillies. Music all summer long, also yoga. You do have to pre-register, but they're doing Saturday morning yoga sessions Very cool. at that stage as well. And we're wrapping up with a little bit more music too. Tell us about this. Well, if you head out to start, let's talk about Yacht Rock. Either of you oh Yacht Rock gosh, fans. Oh my gosh, I love Yacht Rock, that Sean. That doesn't mm -hmm. surprise you, right? No, <laughs> not at all. And I do too, but I wanna, I'm want i going to be pedantic and nerdy for a little bit. I want to be specific. Yacht Rock is not any song about the sea no. or any oh, song no. that sounds good on a boat. It's a very specific mm -hmm. thing. And the scientific perfection ideal of Yacht Rock is the song What a Fool Believes by the Doobie Brothers. That is the <laughs> definition. And you will hear it Saturday night if you go out to Star Lake. Star Lake Yacht Rock set sail on the Star Lake. Figure out that pun for yourself. Uh, with Michael McDonald. Michael McDonald, of course, sang with the Doobie Brothers in that Yacht Rock period, the late 70s and early 80s. Hasn't been with the band for 25 years until this tour. Uh, which has been delayed several times as well. I think this was originally a 2020 thing that kept getting pushed back and pushed back. Here, real Yacht Rock, as, as, look, I like, uh, um, you know, Brandy, you're a fine girl as much as anybody, not Yacht Rock. So sing the song for, do you guys know, can you sing it? Which one? What a Fool Believes? Yeah. Well, I mean, we could try, but well, I think okay, we're running out show. of time, right? So we came we'll from somewhere back in the long ago. I forget the second line. Perfect. That, that was, was a little though. more singing than I prefer to do 
on television. It's we love it. It's a great way to end the segment. Michael Thanks. McDonald should be worried. Thank you. So Sean much. is coming. <laughs> All right. I assure you he shouldn't. <laughs> See him Saturday night. Thanks, Sean. We Thank appreciate you. it. And remember, you can catch Sean's Weekend Guide each Thursday right here on PTL and in Pittsburgh Magazine online.